All right, like and subscribe on the way in the door, my people. Heavy on the like, heavy on the subscribe, please. And uh, I hope you all are having a fantastic day today. Uh, so today we're going to talk about the Chicago Bulls, the New York Knicks, and uh, the Detroit Pistons. And what I want to talk about is, uh, I can't remember if it was an article or if it was a documentary, but apparently, uh, I don't know if it was in the last year or two, but Michael Jordan said that the New York Knicks were the toughest team that he faced. And uh, I know a lot of people, uh, at least some people, probably would argue that the Detroit Pistons were the toughest team that he faced. But uh, I definitely think that the New York Knicks were the toughest team that he faced. Matter of fact, I would go as far as to say that the New York Knicks team he was facing in the 90s, that they, they would have killed the Pistons. I, I think they would have beat up on the Pistons pretty bad. Uh, and the reason I say this is this. Uh, we all know that the Detroit Pistons were, I would say, responsible in part of making Jordan the champion that he was. But definitely... Uh, for making the Chicago Bulls team what they became. Again, we all know that Jordan Jordan was tough from the get-go. Jo Jordan was unshakable. Uh, Jordan gets knocked down. He's going right back to the hole the next play. That, that's Michael Jordan. Uh, I don't think he knows how to be any other way but that. But the problem with the Bulls getting past the Pistons as we all know, again, was that the team around Michael Jordan was intimidated by the Pistons. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> the Pistons were playing football. So, you know, the team around Jordan was intimidated, and it took them a few years to develop that mental toughness to uh, become unshakable like their fearless leader, Michael Jordan. And once that happened... We all know the rest is history. The Bulls never look back. 6-0 in the finals. But however, when the New York Knicks was taking Chicago to seven-game series, they were facing the already tried-and-true Chicago Bulls. They were facing the team that the uh, Pistons got swept by. You know, they, they, they were facing a team that had already been through those battles with Detroit and had already become the unshakable force, the unbeatable force, the invincible force that the Chicago Bulls uh, seemed to become after facing the Pistons. That's the team that the, that the New York Knicks were facing. facing. And, and they were giving Chicago a serious run for the money, you know, if any of you who remember watching some of those series, especially I think what series am I thinking about? Uh, the series where where John Starks got that dunk over, I believe it was Horace Grant, and Jordan was in the picture, but he he really dunked over Horace Grant. But for those of you who remember that series, man, I'm, I'm talking about you know th those New York New York Knicks were playing hard. And those were, you know, I would argue those, the Bulls versus Knicks series was some of the most exciting series that you will ever get to see in your life. And if you were alive to witness that, you witnessed some of the most exciting, intense basketball that has ever been played. Uh, you know, with uh, Oakley and, and Mason and Xavier McDaniels and those guys. Uh, I'm trying to remember, was was Mark Jackson on that team as well? Some, somebody remind me in the comments. Uh, Greg Anthony, w was he on that team? Uh, I can't remember which team Allen Houston was on. But those were some hardcore cutthroat games. 
And again, the New York Knicks were were taken to task the Chicago Bulls who were already hardened by the Detroit Pistons. So I totally agree that the New York Knicks were the toughest team he faced. And uh, I would have to say second to that was probably the Indiana Pacers. You know, matter of fact, one might could argue as far as Chicago was concerned that their actual, actual championship games were those Eastern Conference Finals. Because while, you know, uh, um, the Blazers were a great team, uh, the Utah Jazz were a great team, there's no argument about that. Um, and uh, the Seattle Supersonics were a great team. But as far as being like physical and really challenging the Bulls and, and pushing them to their limits, you, you could argue that their championship games were really played in the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, so, yeah. And so, like I said, I, I, believe that, um, I believe that those New York Knicks teams would have beat the Detroit Pistons teams. You know, they, they just had, uh, I think they had a lot more talent and, you know, talk about <laughs> physicality. Uh, those Detroit teams wouldn't have been <laughs> Isaiah Thomas and, and, uh, and I always leave Joe Dumars out of this because Joe Dumars was, was such a sportsman. You know, he was such a fantastic competitor and such a sportsman. You know, he just played really hard every single night. So I, you know, I almost hate to include Joe Dumars in the foolishness that <laughs> was taking place with the Detroit Pistons. But had they tried that stuff with the with the New York Knicks, with Xavier McDaniels <laughs> and Oakley and Mason and them guys, and a, a great center like Ewan on the team, oh, man, please. It, 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 it wouldn't even been a competition. And Detroit would have got beat up in the process. <laughs> but uh, anyway, this is a short video. I, I just wanted to touch on that because, uh, you know, I, I came across recently, uh, can't remember if I came across it on YouTube or something, but talking about how Michael Jordan said uh, the New York Knicks was his, his greatest challenge. And like I said, I, I know some people probably would argue that it was Detroit. But like I said, I, I totally agree that it was New York. Like, if, if you were alive back then and you remember, and I remember the series with Detroit, too. But like I said, there, there was nothing like those series with the Knicks. That, that was competition at its utmost that you cannot even, man, what, what I wouldn't give to see a series like that nowadays. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments, who do you think was Michael Jordan's greatest uh, competition, his toughest competition? Do you think it was the Detroit Pistons who it took him years to finally get over the hump? Or do you think it was the New York Knicks who was still uh, giving Chicago uh, the business, even though Chicago was already tried and true at that point? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. You all have a truly fantastic day, and I will see you next time. All right.